Hey y'all, it's Melissa here at Twin Oaks Family Farm in rural Southeast Ohio, USA. Thanks for joining me on our YouTube channel. I want to get kind of a quick update on this flock of meat chickens. So uh, these are Cornish Rock Cross meat chickens. And Cornish Rock Cross chickens are the like premier bird for poultry meat production. And the reason for that is they can be raised from start to finish for poultry pretty quickly. In fact, uh, last year, 2023, here at Twin Oaks Family Farm, we had a 42-day production preference. We wanted to uh, have our birds in production for 42 days from hatch to harvest, and so we, we tried to aim as close to 42 as we could on our our production length this year kind of as an experiment we are working on a 35 day production schedule preference so meaning that we set everything up to go from hatch to harvest in as close to 35 days as possible so this flock will go to processing at 37 days old currently they're 31 days old um, as the 2024 goes on it is entirely possible that we may find out that we don't like the 35 day production schedule preference it is entirely possible that we find out that doesn't make the size finished bird that we want but what we were finding was that at 42 days and especially when the ambient conditions for a flock were really good and the flock could really thrive because of that we were ending up with whole finished chickens. So after they're processed, after they're butchered, after they're processed into whole chickens, we were ending up with whole chickens right at about six pounds. And we direct market our poultry to clients in our area, Southeast Ohio. And uh, our customers feedback to us was basically saying, we really want birds around four and a half pounds, whole chickens finished frozen. So we said on our production schedule, is there anything we can do to impact the size of the finished bird? And so of course there is, you can keep them in production just a little shorter time. So, so we are more or less trial and experiment, experimenting with 35 days uh, production length. And we did a flock already on a 35 day schedule we did not have any whole chickens made out of it, so we don't exactly have a sense of what size whole chicken is this gonna get us. But we did get chicken breast and we did get chicken patties. And we do know that the chicken breast packages, those sizes and weights were comparable, just about the same to what we got out of the 42 day schedule. And we also know that the chicken patties that, that we have made from the drumsticks and the thighs, we got more packages of patties than we estimated. So that indicates there was ample meat on those, on those uh, parts of the bird. So like I said, these are the premier meat bird because they can finish quickly. And, and that five and six week schedule is, is kind of, um, you know, just anecdote of that to let y'all know the experience with that and also they they convert feed to meat quickly and so where that really shows up and expresses is like at this age toward whatever the end of your production schedule is because they do grow fast in the beginning we see big changes from hatchling to one week old and then to two weeks old and three weeks old but we get out here to three and a half four weeks old and they hit a new level of rapid growth and the, the growth rate increases and it just compounds. So, you know, like I always say, they grow, they grow fast and then they grow faster. And so we um, know that they're gonna put on and fill out a lot more here in the six days of production that's left for this flock because they're 31 days going to production on uh, day 37 so six more days um so that was that was the second reason that they're, they're the premier meat bird throughout the world that rapid feed to meat conversion and uh and it, it you know gets more rapid 
as we get close to finish. But then, pardon me, they will hit, if you, if you keep them longer, they will hit a stage where they kind of plateau out on growth, but their appetite stays very high. So at that point, that's a point that we say uh, they, they kind of maximize their growth potential at that point. So that's probably around eight weeks. Uh, so there's really, in our opinion, there's really never any reason to raise Cornish rock cross meat chickens longer than eight weeks, unless, unless you're just for the novelty of it. But it, it's almost, if you do, it's almost kind of a cruelty to them because sometimes their size and their organ function reaches a threshold when you go on past eight weeks particularly sometimes earlier than that but but it's going to reach a threshold where it may not be able to support the bird's life so you know it's kind of it's kind of a catch-22 we we would say don't raise them beyond eight weeks for sure so uh so anyway that was the second reason and the the third reason is um the meat distribution itself so they put a lot of meat on the chicken breast a lot of meat in the drumsticks and a lot of meat in the chicken thighs and even if we leave them as a whole chicken that's a wonderful meat distribution but also it's very helpful for having them made into cuts of chicken like the chicken breast or the thighs or the drumsticks or or having the thighs and drumsticks made into patties so this flock uh does have six more days straight run so we have hens we have roosters uh ambient conditions around them right now the temperature outdoors is 73 degrees <laughs> fahrenheit and uh that's just right that's just right for these birds i sure wouldn't want it much warmer i'd say that 73 degrees fahrenheit that we're at that's for birds this age that's more or less a tipping point where if that temperature increases they're going to start to be too warm and if like if that temperature would increase we would probably close up this set of doors to block that sunlight out other than that there's not a whole lot of direct sunlight coming in right now and uh the doors behind me where i'm at right this second as i'm recording are on the west side of our building and we'll have them closed for late afternoon because that would let a lot of strong sunlight in here and we want to keep it even and if the outside temperature is 73 degrees fahrenheit we don't have to do too much to um, augment temperature one way or the other cooler or hotter because they like that temperature range right around 70 degrees fahrenheit these birds from this point on now could probably even stand they'd probably be happy with about 68 degrees fahrenheit but we'll take 70 we've had some days that were 90 and that's we did lose one so um we're I'm, I'm saying 123 based on what I counted at the beginning and our flock loss. I'm saying we're at 123. We had two we lost in the first week, failure to thrive, and we had freezing cold temperatures the first two or three days. So that, that uh, was worrisome just as a start in general because that could have initiated heart distress in, in the birds. And when that happens from chill stress, I call it a slow death because it doesn't kill them right away. But if it initiates that heart stress, then when they hit this growth benchmark, like at this age, at four weeks, and that growth tries to take off again to a faster rate, sometimes those organs, again, they just can't. If it was compromised in, in week one at hatch, then it just can't keep up with that increased growth. So, so the one we lost, I believe lost one late in the day on day 29 and I believe that's what it was combination of factors um, probably probably some heart distress was initiated when that bird was a hatchling and then we had high heat that day it was feeling like 90 I know it was at least 87 degrees Fahrenheit and it felt super hot so um, you know so anyway like I said this is tipping point because like here's one we're starting to see the panting the faster breathing so you know if it, if it gets any hotter or the air gets still then these birds are going to start to feel warm but we've had a really nice breeze today really good temperature so so we're doing good you want the air moving that is that's another little tip we'll kind of try to wrap this one up with if you're raising these kind of birds or any livestock when you walk into their enclosure if they're in like a confinement system uh, if you walk in there and that air feels heavy still damp or saturated with like ammonia you need to improve that situation for that livestock because 
there's not enough air exchange in there if that kind of thing is present and noticeable pardon me when you go into their their space so uh, take that into consideration if you're raising livestock but these birds are doing good and six days we're going to take them to the processor so let us know if you have any questions about this flock or about raising meat birds in general we're happy to answer your questions if we can and uh, we're happy to share what we've learned from our experiences with raising them and i i will vouch for uh, cornish rock cross meat chickens will produce the best tastiest yummiest chicken you've ever eaten and uh, i think willie nelson was one time quoted as saying take your kids to a farm so they don't think food comes from a box and do make sure that uh, you help spread the news spread the message that real chicken comes from real chickens and real good chicken comes from real chickens raised with good livestock management practices so uh, we appreciate y'all god bless you and uh, please join us for other videos on twin oaks farm poultry thanks so much